Okay, we are going to get the arc length of this curve from x value 0 to pi over 4. So let's go ahead and get started. L for the arc length, it's going to be the integral. And you open the square root, 1 plus. Here, we are given that y as a function of x. So in here, we need to get dy dx. And then we square that, and then you have the dx on the outside. And they, will give, you know, they gave us the x values, that's really nice. So x go from 0 to pi over 4, like that. Well, well, let's get the derivative right here. So perhaps I'll just save some space, put it on the top. dy dx is going to be the following. When we have ln of this, we get 1 over the inside, which is secant x. And don't forget the chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of secant x, which is secant x tangent x. And yes, you see it. The secant x cancel each other out. So the first derivative of <laughs> this right here is just tangent x. And therefore, I just have to enter tangent x right here. So the arc length is just integral from 0 to pi over 4. And you have the integral 1 plus. Inside here is tangent x. And of course, we have to square that. And then we have the dx on the outside right here. OK, let's see how can we integrate this though. Well, we are lucky because here we have 1 plus tangent squared x. So by an identity, we know that this is equal to nothing but just the secant squared x. So inside here, you have secant squared x. And of course, don't forget, you still have the square root on the outside. So of course, you can cancel them out. Everything is positive. In another word, you are just going to integrate from 0 to pi over 4 of secant x right here. And this is one of the integrals that you should remember. So integrate that, you get natural log. And you don't really need the absolute value in this case because everything is positive. I'll still put it down anyway. You get absolute value of secant x plus tangent x like this. And in this situation, we have to plug in numbers. So don't forget to plug in the numbers. So I will do it right here for you guys. And now let's see what we have. Well, secant of pi over 4 is what? Let's refer back to a right triangle real quick. Special right triangle pi over 4. And the ratios of the sides are 1, 1, square root of 2. So this right here is hypotenuse over adjacent. So you have square root of 2 right here. And then tangent of pi over 4 is just 1 over 1, which is just 1. So you have square root of 2 plus 1 inside. And this is positive. I told you, you didn't need that value. You can just put parentheses, and then you have the ln like that. Well, what's secant of 0? Secant of 0 is the same as 1 over cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So secant of 0 is just 1 over 1. This right here is 1. And tangent of 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. ln of 1 is 0, so it pretty much minus 0. <laughs> so you pretty much will have natural log of square root of 2 plus 1. And with that, we are done. Yeah, that's it. I forgot to do this. There we go.